Hi everyone, we'll be learning how to how architecture students should think while designing a project. We're learning whole lot of things in this video. So let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Creative Careers. And this channel, if you're new to channel, please hit that subscribe button and welcome to the channel. So we deal with modern careers and their tutorials. We deal with all sort of design fields, including architecture, interior design, graphic design, UX, UI design, all sort of design fields. Then we are going to discuss about architecture and planning, uh, art and creative and skill based careers are on our top list and how you can make a career out of design or in creative fields is all about the channel so let's begin the topic hi guys so if you have watched my concept video it's great and if you haven't i would recommend go and check out that project after this you'll finish this one so today's video we are going to talk about how uh, architecture students should think while designing a project I would say start from a very small thing, but uh, what a building should become uh, be should become is it should become a great memory. Whenever you think of any building, its memories come to you. You think about how we, the main thing a student must think in a building is how he should bring in the light and air. So why can't we do this today? We when you design a building, right? Before you even design the building in your first year, I highly recommend to do these things. If you haven't done this in the first year, do this now, you still have time. Start designing various walls, windows and all, very different kinds of windows, walls and all. So today we are going to design a wall which brings in the air and light. You can call it a window, I don't mind, but uh, do you really want to call it a window? Do you want just... Uh, that should be just a window or just a wall which is having a window then earlier people used to do something like this but you don't do this in architecture right you don't even do this in engineering and when we come to engineering most of people will end up with this plans a plans will be having two sliding doors and we are done why every window should look like this a uh, aluminium sliding window why you can't think up uh, about out of this right so what makes major impact in a building is facade and how you can design these facade these facades are nothing but walls right the elevation walls which contains windows and doors so start designing these individual elements start designing a wall start designing a door start designing a window and combine them together or i would say why you even differentiate you can make a wall which is which has various different things in it just think about this thing isn't it looking good wall which also brings in the light and air right this is a this can make your building look different from other building boxes which are just boxes right so this is what experience your building creates well what am i using in this in this I'm using nothing but a line which is repeating itself. I'm using a shape which is repeating itself. I can use one hollow shape, one open shape and I can make various patterns in it. This kind of work is done in a jolly work. Now again I'm using a, uh, I'm using a frame here to bring in light and air which is a rectangle. I'm repeating the rectangle. See your basic architectural uh, theory, what you study in your theory, right? Uh, repetition, I'm using the principle repetition. I'm using a, a element a shape and I'm designing this. Isn't it beautiful? Why can't you think in this way? This is the reason why your teachers teach you how to, uh, why you should study theory. Your teachers teach you how uh, you should know your design principles, right? your design elements why can't my wall looks like this and why can't my entire series of building runs like this wall right we have very many famous architects design building like like this right our ahmedabad the uh, iim uh, looks something in this way right it has huge openings then why can't we adapt them in our design not only with this i'm telling you can you start with this basic wall sense how it should look when you when you design smallest things and then you combine them together then only your design will become a good design or a great design 
but keep these things in mind just don't end up making those aluminium sliding windows sliding shutters sliding doors yeah they are important they are good enough i'm not telling they are bad but why can't your design just has to stick to that only that one single thing only right you can have these sort of lures which which can act as sunscreens uh and you can have this in, in these as the inner walls where uh to keep and a gallery like area in front of a balcony and you can have your jali works various patterns you can combine and repeat them or use hierarchy or use various design principle to make your building great so hope i uh so hope i helped you in upcoming videos we will be designing many different things i'll be telling you many different things uh how you can think of a design how you can think of each and every structure so if you like this video please like share and subscribe i'm forming a new playlist for architecture students so this is to help architecture students how they should think about designing hope you like this video guys thank you